Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. This is the Widget Mum UK and today I am going to be doing my week one for July cash envelope stuffing. Uh, quite short but sweet. Potentially I'm saying that I haven't even done it yet but uh, not a huge amount I've got this week. Um, we're on a really really tight budget this month because of where everything is working out because it's summer holidays because I'm self-employed and I don't get many hours. So it's going to be interesting. Come on in. Okay. So I know I said it's going to be short but sweet, but I accidentally didn't hit record, so it was even super short than I thought it was going to be. So I've just started to make some notes, but luckily I caught it just in time. Anyway, let's get into this. If you are new here, this channel focuses on budgeting, finance, my very rubbish sort of income, because I haven't got very much, but I still managed to leave, I leave? I still managed to lead a really good... Uh, life. I'm really happy. I've got a really good work-life balance at the moment. I'm part-time self-employed tutor and um, yeah I still have a decent life without having to spend too much money and that's what this channel was about. So if you think that is of interest for you I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe icon, hit the thumbs up like icon, icon, icon <laughs> and then of course go ahead and hit the notification bell button so that you know every single time that I upload a video because every time you do it genuinely makes my day thank you so much to everyone that is already subscribed you are fantastic this last year on YouTube has been incredible and that's thanks to you guys so thank you so so much right so I hadn't got too far into the video luckily uh, all I had done is give a little bit of to one of you lovely subscribers who um, has been with me for a long, long time now. So, uh, yeah, hello, Julian. Thank you. She uh, ordered something from my Etsy store recently, and she doesn't actually live too far away from me. So, um, I actually went and hand delivered those. I didn't. I didn't meet her in person. But that's okay. And um, she, she as a thank you, she sent me an extra ten pounds in my paint forward envelope. So normally I would include that in my Etsy stuff, but I just wanted to. Put it on here and give her a little bit of a shout out. I'll link her channel as well below in the comment section. So go ahead and check her out. So thank you so much. It means that instead of 275, I've got 285. But actually that 10 pounds is going in my pay it forward envelope. And I'll do that when I when I come to do it and go over what that's about as well. If you're new or you're not familiar with that. So 285 is what I've got. As I said, 10 pounds already there. So I'm just going to count that out because I'm very good at um, getting it wrong and like miscounting and things like that. So <laughs> let's just check how much I've got here. So this should be right because I've already filmed this part of the video once. So yeah, unless some randomness. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Yeah, that unless something, I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't be. 20, 40, 240, 50, 60, 70, 85, 285. Now I've got my three binders that I'm going to be uh, working with today. And that's these ones. Uh, I probably, gosh, that's so heavy. I really, really need to do a video where I reduce the amount of cash I've got going on in here. Um, yeah, I've got my fluid envelopes. And I've got my debt. So first things first, let's grab that pay it forward envelope so I can put some money in here. So I've got already 10, 25, 20, 35. Thanks to Jillian, that's really good. Um, so basically, if, you, if you're not familiar with my pay it forward envelope, it's where I sort of give, give a little bit back to other like small businesses like yours or like some of you know. Um, when I set up my Etsy store, I couldn't for a second imagine how how much it would take off, how it would affect my life, how it would have such an impact on my, well, my income effectively. Uh, and it's something I actually genuinely love doing. Um, so my that's my way of, of giving a little something back. So it's the equivalent, I guess, of a, a tip jar. I know some people have rather than me just keep the tip I've just sort of 
put it back into somebody else's small business. So if, you, if you've ever got a small business of your own or you know somebody uh, or shop that you think needs a bit of a boost, a bit of support, definitely just send me a message or uh, put it in the comments section and I'll go ahead and check them out and maybe spend some there as well. I try and do it for a smaller business or so one that's not got like thousands of sales, you know, the ones that don't really need it. Maybe somebody who's just starting out. That's uh, what, what, what I like to do. Plus, I get the benefit of receiving the items as well. So there is, you know, there is some that comes back to me as well. Right, so let's open these envelopes up. I'm going to put in my new envelopes as well today. So my new ones are Eating Out, Date Night, and Days Out as well. Um, actually, the, I'm going to put them back just because they're because they're on the end of my um, of my sheet. I try and keep them in an order. It doesn't always work. So let's see. Um, yeah, so I was, I was, was I previously started writing down and then doing the cash stuff in for each one because it was just easier because I kept getting muddled up because it doesn't take much to confuse me, I can assure you. I'll have a look over the, the week ahead to see where I need to plan my money. Um, I <laughs> crossed out the wind. I, for some reason, I had the wind down as, as this weekend and it's not. It's like the 16th and 17th, so... That's quite good because, you know, I wasn't planning on going to a wedding this weekend. Yeah, so the things I have got coming up over the next week is my niece's 18th birthday meal. And then that party there as well for the weekend. After a friend visiting Friday, um, I'm going to hers. So she's offered me some gin and tonic as a, you know, for, in exchange for company, which I feel is a, a good deal. So, yeah, that's that. So really, I need to make sure I've got some money in my eating out envelope. And yeah, and maybe some in that time for me envelope as well, just because I don't know. I'm hoping like the, the party I'm, I'm planning on just a driving for that's not gonna be an issue. So got nothing I'm just having a look, I've got not very much in my time for me. Got nothing in the petrol. Oh can't believe the prices, honestly. Gifts. In fact I need to have a look at Jessica's envelope because i need to like right time for me i'm just going to put 10 in there groceries 30 petrol um i'm hoping well i don't know how much i'm going to need to put into them let's, let's just put 15 in for now because um i have got work for the next couple of weeks and like the last time it only lasted me two weeks of full tank which is Unusual for me, but gifts has only got quite a bit in it, hasn't it? I think. But let's throw another 10 in. Keep on top of it. Beauty. Oh, did you like my nails, by the way? <laughs> I did enjoy getting them done. I'm already booked in as well to get them done again. So let's put. I need my hair doing as well because I made that flipping disaster dinner. Let's throw 20 into the date night. I'll put 10 in because I've actually got no plans for a date at the moment. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm making positive changes there. I feel like the fact that I've got an envelope and I'm anticipating dates and date nights is, is a, a thing. Um, yeah, you know, I don't tend to go massively into my own personal life and that's how I like it. But yeah. I just always think if things go wrong, then you don't have to explain it to you either. Days out, I want to start getting some in there. I'm going to put 20 and eating out because there's um, there's a local um, Weatherspoons near me. And on a Tuesday night, they started doing a quiz night. And then on a Sunday evening they do um like a bingo but it's like family friendly so it's like two pound to play and i'm thinking it might start like going because the children can go and the children can play well obviously alexander can't play he'll probably just run around like a lunatic but holly can go and you know it, it's designed for that so if i put some in there if they ever want to get something to eat then that could be a plan all right so let's put 10 in there i feel like I'm not used to spending this much in my fluid envelopes, but there we have it. Why am I doing that? So I forgot here, 30, 40, 50, 
50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 125 plus that. Oh, how have I managed to print? I've just noticed I've printed it like this. 125, 135 when I include that paint forward, which means that I have 150 left for my sinking funds. But you know, when I watch some people's channel, channel channels, and they seem to have so much going in their sinking funds, and I'm like, one day, one day that might be me, but it's not today. <laughs> it's not today. That's why I do my side hustles though, so I can sort of bolt them up when I get when I do get some money for them. So that's that's that. Now let's just um, let's crack on with this then. So it's all muddled all over the show now. Um, just try and get organised. Move. Let me move things. Right, we've got 10 going in time for me. Thirteen to groceries. Petrol is 15. I'm not going to have 10s in a minute, I just realised. I'll move some items. Got any gifts? He's going to get ten. Watch if I take this ten out and put twenty in. At least it gives me a little tenner to play with. Days out. Oh no, let's go to the beauty just so I can keep it in an order. It's going to get twenty. date night such a cheap date it's 10 pounds for a date um, and then days out 20 just because with the summer holidays i really ought to have started these a good while ago um well i talked about them and then didn't do them Life and such gets in the way. And eating out needs 10, but I haven't got a 10. I've only got a 20. Um, let's switch some out of my foot here. Yeah. Just notice I'm supposed to cart it on something. My A on my dreams has come on undone. I don't know what I've done there. I'm supposed to cart it on. It's because these things get moved around so much. So yeah, let's change. Oh, I've got two tens. Yes, I have got two tens. And there. Thank you. And then I can put ten in my eating out envelope. So that's that one sorted. Now let's have a look then at my sinking funds. So I've got 150 left. Debt, emergency, car, school, holly, Alexander and the car repairs, one. Um, I can't remember whether I said or not, but she was on about going to this trip thing and the, anyway, she's not going because she missed the deadline, even though they extended the deadline and then when I tried to, book it online that the system was failing and then by the time I got around to ring them to say I can't get on and pay it and um, they're like well it's tough it's shut now anyway so save me 32 pounds <laughs> and I've just got a sulking 14 year old and said don't know which one I'd prefer anyway let's see where am I going to go really I ought to put it on debt I haven't counted up how I've managed to do so far yet for this month so anything that goes into the debt is going to be sort of going paid out but Let's do 20, 20, oh gosh, I thought that, why have I done that? I was, I, I thought I was putting it into holidays and 20, 20, well, let's put 10 into the school fund because I'm going to be getting uniforms soon and shoes. 
Oh, in fact, I took I took 20 out of her the uniform from the other day to get some shoes in the end. I went to Windsor's World of Shoes. And has anyone else got one of these children who, you know, they tried all these shoes, just tried them on. Great, 20 quid, fab. Uh, after two days, apparently they're too small. I like, they, they, they fitted you for two days and now they're not. I, she's like, can we take them back? Oh, no, you've been wearing them. So, unless they fall apart, oh, well, she's just tough. She's only got to wear them like, for the next few weeks and then hopefully a feet will shrink over the summer holidays. Who knows? Who knows? So, let's <laughs> sorry, <laughs> just wind me up, honestly. Let's do 20 in here. 20, 40, 60, 70. 20 in here, and then the rest can go into my debt. 24, 60, 80, 90. So let's go put 60 into debt. There we go. Um, yeah, some car. Getting 20. School is getting 10. Holly, 20. Alexander's 20. And car repairs, 20. Wow, okay, cool. And that's us. Pretty much done. Um, I'm going to now film my video for um, how much I've managed to put towards my savings and everything else and my debt. So looking forward to doing that. So, Go and check out how much cash I've actually got and how I'm doing because I feel like I'm doing all right this month. Oh, well, I did all right, sorry, in June, which is good because I know July's going to be, and dog is going to be super rubbish. Yeah, so check that out with me as well. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope it's helped you and that you find it useful and I will see you really, really soon.